In this video, I'll be using group policy to configure the default search engine for Google Chrome. I'm starting this video from a GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video, and I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also, in the bottom of the page, you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example, here you can find videos about my Windows Server setup, and there is also a video about installing policy templates for managing Google Chrome settings via group policy. And here you can see the objective for this video. I will be setting DuckDuckGo as my default search engine for Google Chrome. And here you can also find all the policy settings and values that I will be configuring in this video. And also here you can find alternative values for configuring different types of search engines. And now I'll begin this video by going to my VMware workstation where I have my Windows Server environment. And here I will be creating my group policy. So I'll go to Tools, Group Policy Management. Then I will right click on Group Policy Objects and select New. I will name the policy Chrome settings and I will click OK. Then I will expand group policy objects, select the policy that I created, then I will right click on it and select edit. And because I will be configuring this policy for my computers, I will go to computer configuration, policies, administrative templates, Google, Google Chrome, and then we need to find default search provider. I will click on it. And here we are looking for a few settings. And the first setting is enable the default search provider. I will click on it. I will enable the setting, I'll click apply and OK. And the second one is default search provider search URL. I will click on this setting. I will also enable it. And here we need to provide our search engine search URL. And for that, I will go back to my GitHub page. And here I will copy the value that I have here. And this value is for DuckDuckGo. But if you want to use a different search engine, you can use one of the values that you see here. I will go back to my server, provide the value, then I will apply and OK. And that's basically it for configuring this policy. Now we can close this window, go to details. And for GPO status, I will select user configuration settings disabled because this policy currently has only computer settings in it. And I will leave all other settings on default. Now after creating the policy, I need to assign it to an organization unit that is holding the computers on which I want to deploy the settings. In my case, the organization unit will be this one. It's called computers and it's, it is holding all the computers in my domain. So I'll click and hold on the policy, then drag and drop it on the organization unit and click OK. And as you can see, the policy appeared in the list here and also in the list here. And that's basically it. Now to test this policy, I will go to one of my client machines that I have here. I will open Google and let's try searching for cats. And as you can see, it still is using Google as its default search engine. And that's because even though I created the policy, it didn't have enough time to update on my client machine. So to update the policy manually, I will go to my start menu, search for CMD. I will type GP update, press enter. And now we need to wait a bit. And as you can see, the policy update was successful. So if I go back to Google Chrome and this time search for docs. And this time the search is performed by DuckDuckGo. And that means that the policy is working just fine. And that's it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.